Hey, welcome my college prep readiness friends. I'm just gonna check this assignment out with you. I'm gonna do this one together. This is the class photo video. So first thing I'm gonna come to college readiness. I'm gonna come down to wherever you are. You know, right now we're on Tuesday. We're gonna set up a dream weaver. There'll be a little link here for a video, the tutorial I'm making right now. So just go ahead and click on that link and you'll come and be where I am right now. So once you do that, you'll, you'll well, you already did because you're watching me kind of weird. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with this program, Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is a program that lets you make websites. So it's pretty cool. Um, and why are we going to do this? Well, it's going to give you the ability to eventually make something like this. See, this is from my web design class, but it's very convenient. You're going to make a home page. So every assignment you do, it's like electronic portfolio. Every time you do an assignment, you'll be able to link it up. And then I can just really easily check it you can see all your work in one place so it's a nice it's a nice thing to do so it's going to take a, um, a few days to kind of learn the software but y it's pretty intuitive so you're going to open up this program it should be in your desktop macromedia dreamweaver i'm going to go ahead and open that up and i'll just walk through it with you mine open up on the left side now i've opened mine up before i think the first time you open yours you'll have to click on a message that says, like, I want to do the design view, not the code view. And then it should pop up into something that looks basically like this. So the first thing we have to do is define a site. So mine has already been defined because because I've been on it before. But yours, maybe not so much. Check, check. There we go. So what you want to do is come over here to your files drop this down and say manage sites. Now I have a couple things on mine. Yours will be blank. You won't have that yet. So just just you know go with me here. Don't don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. It's close enough. We're gonna make a new site. You're gonna give it a name. You could just call it your own first name if you want. I'll just call mine Mike. Except I can't spell right. Next, do I want to use server technology? No. All right, this part's important. Where are your computer? Do you want to store your files? You want to click on this I this folder, and you want to select your own home drive, your H drive. You want to be saving stuff on your H drive, not on the C drive. So just click your H drive, and depending on um, what your H drive looks like, it may be it may have a bunch of stuff in there. It may be empty. So we'll just click H drive for now. And actually, why don't we do this? We'll make a new folder. See how I'm doing that? Create a new folder. And I'm going to call it college prep or something like that. Let's do that. So that way, if you do have a lot of stuff in your folder, it won't get confused. I'll make it college prep. I'll click into that. And that's the one we'll make your, your selected. Now, notice down here it says selected. It still says H. It didn't change the college prep. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes I'm going to try to, um, I'm just going to say select. See, it still says H. I wanted to say college prep, so I'm going to try it again. College prep. It still says H. If it does it one more time, I'm going to just type it in myself. Oh, stop. Go up. You know, sometimes. I right, just, I'm going to type it in. But you got to make sure if you have to type it in yourself, that you, you spell it the exact same way. So I had a space in mind, so college prep, all right? So you do that too. Now, where do you connect your remote server? For now, we don't have a remote server, so I'm just gonna say none. And then the rest of you just say done, done. So that's the first part. We got that out of the way. Now we have the college prep folder, but there's nothing in there. So the next step is to go get the, f the pictures of everybody. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come down here to the, to the start. I don't know if they call that now, but I call it start. And then you want to go to your file explorer. What I did is I took everybody's picture that we took. I took the pictures that we took. No, <laughs> I moved the pictures that we took into the end drive. See where I'm going? And hey, if I start to go too fast, remember, you can pause this video, rewind it. So I'm going to go to the end drive. And in here, I made a college prep folder. There it is. In there, I made a folder called Photos. In there, I put in your hour. So what you want to do is just copy the whole hour. 
copy it out, and then you want to paste it into your H drive. So I'm going to come back over here to my H drive. I'm going to go to my college prep folder, and I'm going to paste it right in there. That's, it'll move it over. So that's important to get all the pictures in there. Do, 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 do. Well, that's going. I'm going to come back. Well, I'll wait for that to finish. Okay, cool. Now when you come back here, notice Dreamweaver it updated it. Sometimes it doesn't update. You may have to hit refresh. That's the refresh. So now the R1 folder's there. And if you click on that plus, those are all the pictures. These are actually like R1 from last year, but that's all right. So what we want to do is learn how to make a web page and put these pictures in here. So I'm just going to do a simple one to start. So I'm going to create a new page. So you have different styles. We want to just use basic HTML. So this makes a blank page. Now the first thing I want to do is give a title to my page. The title doesn't appear on the page. It appears up in the bar. It appears up. See where it says, I'll show you. See where it says appear in the tab, Priscilla's homepage? That's her title. This, Priscilla's homepage, this is not her title. That's just what she typed into the page. So let's, pull, let's put up here Mike's photo page. And then before I start putting pictures, I want to save this file. Right now it's called untitled. That's weird. I'm going to save it. It saves right into the college prep folder, and I'm going to call it photos or class photos. I always do those little underscores in mine. I don't. I, try, I typically don't put spaces in my file names. It's just it used to be computers did not like spaces at all. So, anyways, you can call it you want, and then now I should change class photos. Now we're going to actually put the photos on the page. So to keep it organized and nice and neat, what we want to do is create a table first. So we're going to go up to here. Mine remembers the HTML. Yours will probably be on common at first, so it should be up in common. There's a table icon right here. If it's not, just click on that little guy and click common. Create. That's the table icon. What we want is a table with about, there's probably about, you know, depending on the size of your class, you know, some of you guys have like 15, some of one hour five's got like 30 people. So if we do three pictures per row, that would be pretty good. So probably let's say, I'm gonna start with 10 rows and three columns. And a table width, I wanna make it just 100%. Make sure you choose percent. That way it'll be the whole, the whole um, page. And I'll say, okay, now it makes a little table. So now what we can do is we can just drag and drop the pictures one at a time, but be careful. You gotta make sure you drag it into the thing. I want. I accidentally, my mouse is terrible. It, du it double clicked it accidentally. So I gotta go back. If you double click it, it'll open up another program. You click it, hold it, and drop it. And then it'll say, do you wanna put alternate text? Just say no, okay. And there's the first picture. Now notice how it pushed everything over. That's okay, you can pull it back. Now put your second picture in. Come on, this mouse is terrible. And then you can put one more picture in. I think your my monitor doesn't have as much space as yours. So mine has a little scroll. Yours probably won't have quite that much. You could also do this. Once you put pictures in, you could minimize that. See how I did that? To give yourself more room. So what you want to do is put everybody's picture in, but leave a space under each picture so you can put their name it's down, okay? So I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to go to the next one, and I'm going to put this picture in. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way down. And then um, you, can, you don't have to watch me keep doing that. And then I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to put Trayvon. I'm a mouse ball tree, though. I think that's Trayvon. Huh? And so on and so forth. Remember Drew's name. So you're going to just put everyone's name. In. It's kind of like a little icebreaker, too. Uh, so if you, if you don't know someone's name, like maybe ask your neighbor, or you could even ask, ask the person, hey, I forgot your name. How do you spell it? And if you want to be fancy, put colors in. So you can learn how to use the... Um, in Dreamweaver, I'm going to roll it up so you can see it better. The properties down here. Dang, this Dreamweaver is way. 
jacked up. Here it's better. So now down here on background, so if you choose background, you can make it have colors. So you have each row could be like, I wouldn't do each cell a different color, that'd be annoying, but each row, you could do one row at a time. You could do your rows one color. Now the property is where you really start to, you can change the font, make it bold, change the size. So play around a little bit with the property so you can kind of get to know that property inspector, they call that. Dreamweaver looks a little confusing at first, has a lot of weird um, tools and panels that you're not used to, the way it's laid out, but it's pretty intuitive once you get the hang of it. So then when you're all done, then you just save that again, and then just show it to me. This first page, I'm just gonna come around as you finish it, and I'll just check it off that you have everybody's name right. That way it'll help me remember the names too. And then that'll be it for our first web page. So hopefully this is enough instruction to get you all going.